All right, so in this video, I want to give you a rough overview on how to go about debugging uh, a packaged game. So, for example, right now I'm in my main menu level, and as you can see here, that's what I have my default game default map to. So when I play, even as standalone, as you can see, everything, you know, it works as intended. So anything I do in the editor, that's all, like, just fine. So I can go into, like, this empty map, and I can hit play, and it'll take me to it. I apologize if that was loud, and it just works. So, you know, great. That's all fine and dandy, working as intended. Now comes the problem of well, loading a package game. So let me go ahead and package this up real quick. So I've got a package project. Right now I'm using just, I haven't tinkered with any settings, the default debug game uh, configuration. Export is Windows 64-bit, go to where I want it, and I will see you here in a minute once the packaging is done, and we'll go through the logs just to confirm that there's no warnings or errors. All right, so it's just completed. We can go ahead and go through and look, and as you can see, there are no yellow warnings and no red errors. Now I want to head over to the package project. I'll go ahead and load it up, and let's just see what happens. Well, as you can tell, nothing happened. And I already know if I were to, for example, load, uh, package this as shipping, what would happen is it would load up and it would give me a fatal error. So basically our project's crashing, it's not opening, it's not getting us any indication. Even if I go to the project name, you know, it's not outputting any logs that I can go through and read or anything like that. But since I uh, output this as the debug game, we go to our project name, binaries164, we can see here we do in fact actually have another executable ending in debug game. However, still, nothing happens. Now normally uh, you would just take this for example and load it up into Visual Studio and run it as a debugger which we are going to do but as you can see here we don't even have any debug symbols. So one thing that you do have to make sure of whichever engine version you were using for example I'm on 4.27 right now you can actually get rid of that one go to options you have to make sure you have editor symbols for debugging enabled and applied and once you have that you will then have debugging symbols. Now those, let me actually load up Visual Studio real quick, I'll see you in a second. Alright, once you're in Visual Studio, you can just go to File, Open, Project Slash Solution, and go to your project, Binaries 164, and try to launch your debug game. Once that's all loaded up, you can come up here, hit Start, and you can see it'll complain about not having any debug symbols, so .pdb not loaded. So that's how they're, like the format that they're stored in, press Continue. All that fun stuff. As you can see, it actually does load the game. However, when I go to shoot house empty, like before, and hit start, it works. But why wouldn't it work before? And actually, last time I didn't even load this far. It would just crash on me. But why is it working in this case, but not normally? So we don't have any debugging symbols to even really be able to test that out either. So we know that something somewhere is kind of finicky. So how can we get those debugging symbols? Well, we go like how we packaged before, file, package project, still make sure we're on debug game. We're going to go to packaging settings, and we're just going to search for debug. Come down here, we have include debug files, hit check, and then what we can do is actually just repackage the game. So I'm going to delete my old one, and that's because of Visual Studio, I believe. There we go, and repackage it. So I'll see you again here in a second. All right, so my build went ahead and everything is good to go just like last time. And while I was doing that, I was doing some thinking and I just remembered why it's actually making it to the map instead of crashing. That was because I've already actually applied the fix beforehand. I just want to do this process to kind of show you. But anyways, we go to our project, project name, binaries 164 like before, and we now have our debugging symbols included with it. So we just like before, we can go ahead and load up Visual Studio, file open, Project slash solution, load up our debug game project. Give that a little bit of time to go do its thing. Hit start. And as you can see, immediately we got an exception thrown. So that means we're having a fit thrown right here on this line. So that means when we're making our call, well, in my case specifically, to HTT module dot or get to go ahead and get a pointer to the singleton of, well, the module. 
we're having a problem. So I've already actually implemented this fix. All I got to do is set this to an old pointer and I set up a, a getter function down here. So get HTTP module. So if it's invalid, we set it and then we return it. So that way, regardless of what happens, you know, it's going to be okay. So this is kind of, this is our problem here. So we know that we need to fix this line. So let's go ahead and stop debugging and close out of Visual Studio and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and load it up into my other IDE, the actual product itself, and make the fix. And I'll show you here in a second. All right, so I'm back in my IDE and I'm back at the line that I was throwing the fit on. So in my HTTP helper class. So I already know what I need to do here. It's just because this is, I don't know why exactly. I'm guessing it's just firing too early. But basically what I want to do for my case specifically is I want to just assign it to a null pointer. And then again, I already showed you I have a function that kind of takes care of setting this that I made. Yours is, your problem's obviously going to be different. So it's going to take different steps to kind of fix any problems that you may have. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this and load it up into the Unreal Editor. Then we're going to repackage as shipping and see just what happens. So I'll see you once this is done compiling and loaded up. Alrighty, so we're back in the editor here. I'm just going to go to File, Package Project, Build Configuration to Shipping. And I'm also going to double check for my packaging settings to make sure debug include debug files. I want to turn that off because I don't want them to be included. Uh, if you wanted to continue to debug, obviously you would want to leave this. But in my case, I know I am good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and repackage. And I'll see you here in a second. All right. Now the packaging is complete. Double check. No warnings, no errors. We're nowhere good to go. Let's head back to it so here we have it and here we have our project so let's try loading it now as you can see now it actually loads as intended i can load up any of these maps and there we go we now have our game you know up and running and everything is good to go so that's just kind of a brief overview i don't really need that anymore and that's probably cluttered up my recycle bin a bit eh, a couple gigs as usual anyways but that's just kind of a brief overview on how you can go about setting up or making use of the debugging symbols if you're having trouble getting them exported out now you can also i guess i probably shouldn't have deleted the, the past few times and i already cleared my recycle bin now that i think about it but when you load up the project inside of visual studio even if you don't have debugging symbols what will happen is you'll have your project inside of there you will have another folder called saves and then inside of that one, you will have a log file. Uh, that won't give you a whole lot of information. It does give you some, but it just kind of, it's not very useful, so to speak. So you're more than likely not going to get anything valuable out of that. So you're going to want to make sure you have debugging symbols installed for your engine, as well as you want to make sure, like I showed you earlier in your packaging, you search for debug, you want to make sure you include debug files. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see those debugging symbols. Or, and Visual Studio is not going to be able to load them up because they're not there. So that really does help tremendously. That's the only way I was able to fix this issue. So yeah, uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my plugins as well as my Patreon in the description below. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord. That's also linked down below and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.